So good morning. This is another day at Kra TV, and today I'm trying something very special. I think the influencer they call this it's a reaction video. So one of my old customers, I visited them many many years ago, and I sold them a solid plus machine from us to produce mainly tanks for storaging of liquids and other material. And Dennis, my good friend Dennis, he sent me just three days ago a very nice video which they produced to show their production to their clients. And I was really impressed what I saw and now I will take the opportunity to show you the video and I will add some comments so that you know what they are doing because in the original video you have no text and you have no voice. So I will start with the video. In the first few seconds you can see the company and they called themselves Solid Plus BY it's from Belarus and you can see already the very nice building they created a long time ago and I was there but many years ago and it's really looking very attractive. They start the video directly with placing the mandrel on our machine to be ready to produce. It seems the pipe diameter is 2000. Now they are jumping a little bit directly to mixing of raw material. At least in Europe we use directly black polyethylene and it seems they are using nature polyethylene and they add some black master batch to have black pipes in the end. Now you can see that the raw material is sucked into the extruder, the combination black and white and you can see on one melt flow they are using a blue inside with the core extruder they, it seems they are going to produce a blue colored pipe from the inside and black from the outside. Here you can see that they are controlling the temperature of the mandrel and the heating of the mandrel by using gas. They produce in their own plant a corrugated pipe. We call it core tube and here you can see that the core tube is coated with polyethylene before added to the mandrel. Now in this time-lapse video you can see how the pipe is basically produced and sometimes you see people jumping in the frame of the video to check the temperature and they disappear because the temperature is one of the most important things to check. Our news machine they can check it automatically but here they still do the physical check. Now back in the time-lapse video you can see that the pipe is produced directly with the waterway wall thickness or the waterway wall and profile. The adjustments, it seems they are running the machine manually but they can also run it via software but it seems they are adding the data manually. So now you can see, or I can see, they add another profile on top of the first profile. We call it Olympia profile because it looks a little bit like this Olympic symbol. So it seems the pipe is very stiff. Now you can see the cooling by air. The main idea of cooling by air is, especially when you produce tanks, you don't have any frozen stresses in the pipe wall. And this is very, very useful when you are doing big construction out of uh, this kind of pipes. 
Now you can see our grinding system to make a very straight cut on the pipe ends. This is useful for tanks because you have a 90 degree cut and also same time if you produce normal pipes to have a proper socket and spigot and even an integrated electrofusion socket and spigot. Here you can see what I set and confirm that the pipe is a very stiff pipe. It seems it is an SN8 pipe according to ISO 9969. After they finished the production, you can see here that they are cutting the pre-cutted ends by manual source. They are doing some quality control and they are weighing the pipe. But it seems they changed the video here, so they are not checking the 2000 millimeter pipe with Olympic profile. They are producing or they are checking and finishing a pipe with a smaller diameter. It seems this pipe, it looks a little bit like a pipe, maybe 1500, 1600 millimeter. After the socket and spigot, it seems for electrofusion is produced, they are covering with a special kind of foil the ends of the pipe to protect the integrated electrofusion socket. Now you can see here that it seems they sold pipe lengths of 12 meters, so they are pre-jointing by electrofusion the pipes in their plant. So here you can see when they do the in-house electrofusion pre-joint, they are using tension belt of a truck to stick the pipes together. You can see it on the picture or on the video left and right and in the middle you see the electrofusion joint. Inside you could see very quick the inside tensioning ring and from the outside they apply force by a special chain. Now, without seeing any results, they are already jumping in the video to the quality control and they are showing how they check the pipe stiffness. It seems they are checking the pipe stiffness according ISO 9969 with the constant speed method. And now again, they are changing the diameter, so it seems they are showing that they can produce many sizes with the same machine. They are showing how they load trucks and also how you can nest pipes inside each other. Now they are going back to the pipe production. At this moment, they are loading the machine with a Mandrel 2400, so it seems they want to produce a tank. Yeah, this is a 2400 millimeter, and they are producing instead of a profiled wall, a solid wall pipe. So, which confirms somehow the main application will be a standing storage tank. You see again the heating and some little application or not, not really an application, you will see them pipe produced. Now back in production, checking the temperature, producing a solid wall pipe. And we are back in production. And now something very impressive. The next part of the video you see clearly this is a mandrel size 4500 mm. I would say this is big, especially after I showed my last video of a pipe 3500, so clearly the trend is bigger and bigger. Here you can see the same production, the same machine, but a mandrel size 4500 with a solid wall pipe produced on it. 
Here you can see they are producing the solid wall pipes in several layers. At the beginning you could see that the first layer, the mantle, was heated by a gas heater and now the next layers to heating the next layers they are using infrared heating system so that the melting between both layers is very homogeneously. Okay, and after the production exactly the same procedure cooling by air, cutting the end of the pipes. Now here you can see finally after the pipe is produced on the mandrel cooled down the edges or the ends are cut. Now you can see the disassembling of a typical solid one machine. And this disassembling is completely different than the disassembling or dismantling of a KR800 or KR900 because this is done mainly on ground. And you can see here the mandrel is pulled out of the pipe. In the KR800-900 the mandrel is still stable, is not moving and the pipe is pulled from the mandrel. After the dismantling the mandrel is closed again and usually they store it on a special mandrel storage area to use it next time. Now here you can see Unfortunately, you cannot see everything what they did, but it seems they produced a complete radical tank with a um, bottom and also a special top part and everything is covered with a special heating shrinking foil. After Covering and protecting the complete tank, the really big tank is loaded to a truck, to a flatbed. You can see basically the bottom and also the top of the, the tank, but all covered. So maybe there's a secret. Now in the end of the video, they are showing a big, nice construction site with many smaller pipes with a blue inside surface. And also on the video you could see the pre-jointed pipes we saw before installed and laid in this big construction site. And in the end, the last QR code to see the company solidplus.by and this was already a very short, nice video. And like what I said before, it's really impressive that they are producing pipes even 4.5 meter. In this case, only for storage tanks, but they can be used also for normal pipes. So this was my first reaction video. And I don't know if you like it or not. So if you like to have more of these videos of my customers, just give me a thumb up or a little comment and I will do this frequently because I have many, many videos. For example, outfall pipelines, uh, special production of fittings. And I think it could be helpful for all of you. So thanks a lot. Stay tuned, I found my sweater, again my orange one, and I will keep on doing videos constantly. So see you soon, bye bye and have a great day.